babies have these proteins. So there's this, this, this non-symmetric distribution. Then there's proteins that go through here. These are ionophores. That allows certain things into the cell and certain things out. Without that, you can't let anything into the cell. It's going to kill the cell. There's a, it has very discrete sensors that allow certain molecules to get in, certain other molecules to get out. It has ionophores that allow certain ions in, certain ions out to keep the ionic concentration at, 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 at a certain level for maintenance of that cell. As soon as that ionic concentration gets off, you know what happens? Boom! The cell explodes because the ionic concentration has gotten off. It blebs and explodes. Nobody knows how that is done. None of the protocell experiments, none of them have these proteins going through them as these control gateways. Then, then there's also lipid bilayers have a vast number of carbohydrate appendages. So all, off of these, this is a carbohydrate appendage. It's called a glycan. The artist is just showing us a few of these. A cell is covered with these. This is how cells recognize each other. How does one cell recognize another cell? By these carbohydrate assemblies that they recognize each other. They have these recognition patterns. And so you can tell one cell from another. And so if you just take nucleotides, if you just take DNA, DNA, oh, DNA is so complex and it has so much information. No. If you have six A bases, A, 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 how can you arrange those? What are the different ways you can arrange it? Just that one, A, 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 that's it. It's one way you can arrange six bases. Look at carbohydrates. If you just take the carbohydrate D-pyranose, just a standard carbohydrate, just D-pyranose, you have six of those, has over one trillion ways it can assemble. One trillion ways it can assemble just with six of them. These have much more than six. And if it's not assembled right, guess what? The cell dies. You change any one of the carbohydrates, it re results in cell death. There is much more information stored in carbohydrate assembly than in DNA. Yeah, much more information can be stored in carbohydrates. You want to build a massive computer? Build it based on carbohydrate assembly. Much better than DNA assembly. This is a carbohydrate assembly. It's really hard to control. Nobody knows how to control this. Nobody. But somehow, on a prebiotic earth, with nobody around, under a rock, it figured this out. How do origin of life researchers address this problem? They don't. They don't. Next slide. 